Even the president is calling the rioters thugs. Is that appropriate? And and I and I can can we go straight ahead to the to defining the term thug? It, it actually means it comes from an ancient not ancient a two hundred year old term, it means a ruffian or assassin, a member of a religious organization of robbers and assassins in India, first used in eighteen ten. So it originally was a Hindi term. Then when I was a kid, spirit, it was something that people used to describe sort of a. A, a, a specifically a Caucasian ethnic pugilistic guy and then with uh, do we have a picture of uh, was it Tupac who tattooed thug life on his abdomen right. and that's when it became racialized or it became connotative of African Americans there we go so who cares it's been used around for a long time I think we know we're talking about people that behave criminally I keep hearing people say well what about after a sports event you know in Ohio after Ohio State wins a football game there's cars are turned over yeah those are thugs too there in fact I, I have a worse term for them I call them drunken maniacs and and okay <laughs> you know and why, why can't we just call these things what they are a spirit well, because what is happening, Dr. Drew, is as you've heard many of the individuals say in that piece that you just played, it is becoming a racialized term where you're not hearing thug be used in equilibrium across the board, whether it's, but, but you know, so the what? white kids but who so, are turning okay, over so cars. Now it, so now it connotates, so now, so now the white guy's a, a maniac and the, 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 the African-American kid is a, what, what difference does it make? Just, well, these what are they're people saying behaving is criminally. the word... No, what they're saying is that thug is now becoming the undertone for the N-word. It's the replacement. So we can't say the N-word because that is the pejorative, and we all know the negative connotation for that. So I won't call these black men thugs anymore. I won't call them the N-word anymore. I'll just call them thugs, and we'll all know exactly what we mean. S Sam, a maniac, drunken yeah. maniac, uh, you get what I'm saying here? No, you got other I disagree terms with for you. Me? I no, completely go ahead. disagree with you. First of all, with Tupac, he meant it as, and I, if I remember the quote correctly, because I used to be hu a huge Tupac fan, he meant it as somebody that grew up on the streets, rose above the streets, and became a success, like an American That's dream. That's what he meant by That's it? That's what he meant by it. I hope that one of the producers can find that quote somehow, and I'm sure I'm, I'm interpreting it with in my own terms, but he didn't mean it as, as the way that Spirit is suggesting. And I huh. read, I read all the comments all the time, Dr. Drew, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, and the only time I see when thug is used in a derogatory way is when it's about young black males and black criminals. No, no, you don't I understand. see that with no, white males. No, no, I understand that, but it has a historical arc uh, to it, and now, now it has a connotation. Well, but, that, now but before it was a white offended. guy, now but it's a black guy. Are but, now. Why now it's offensive? Jennifer, help me with this. Why is it now offensive? Why was it an offensive when it was connoting a white guy or when it, why was I it offensive because, it was connoting a hindi guy because i think that right now we have now linked it completely with the black subculture and i think that's where well, what it's is really that causing... define that so what are we talking about what describe that guy another way because because i want to understand what we're talking about if somebody says okay. they're criminal they're thugs no so what i think what what's being what's being espoused is that young african-american males who are criminally involved or doing criminal behavior okay. all right I, I got you so far I, I, okay that's something are, that's are, a person what, what they what they've said is that they've been they're they're thugs okay okay what else but should we when call you them? look at a it, well you can call them criminals you can call them deviants you can call okay. them uh, wayward teens you can okay. call them angry okay. men i like that. a whole bunch of other terms okay but let's i think go. that when the, the, let's the invent word one. thug let's invent is one. really Though that thug is really pushing on buttons, Dr. Drew, that I you know cannot that. just ignore. No, I, no, I don't and ignore so it. Me, I just want, I don't like I, to walk on eggshells because of words. You guys I haven't just, expanded it. You, you, you're you missing, see, you, what's you, happening is, if it was just that, then people could deal with that. Because even in the black community, we would say those thugs, we can deal with that. But what's happening is, this is becoming a blanket statement for yes. all black men. No, Not just come those on who now. Are could, yes. Dr. Drew, Dr. Drew, Drew I need you to wake Martin. up today. Yeah, Let me school you. Today. People call School me. A thug. School me. That's right. That is what is happening. This is what is becoming the term for all young black youth. Before no, you that's... even know if they have a criminal record, you see three black men walking down the street. The assumption is, look at those thugs over there. Right. Let me grab my okay. purse. Let me lock my car doors. Right. They're well, up to no good me. simply you're, because you're, they're black okay. young you're, males. I'm being